All right, so today we actually got some pretty cool news for version 1.2 of Honkai Star Rail. Now, we saw, you know, in the game today that they released the pre-download, the, pre the pre-install, which is definitely nice for when we get the version update in uh, about a day and a half now, honestly, from when I'm recording this. But uh, yeah, and also in the news, they announced like, you know, just like the main like events and stuff like that that are coming out, which we already knew about from the version live stream. But we did get a new announcement as well. Yeah, like they have the stuff for uh, like the update and maintenance. We'll get, um, yeah, we'll get 300 Seller Jades. We'll probably get another 300 for the, um, the bug fixes as usual. They, you know, they posted stuff about Simulated Universe, Forgotten Hall, Companion Mission, all this kind of stuff. But the thing I want to talk about today, just really quickly, is the Joint Forces Sage that they announced right here. And I think this is really cool because, you know, as I've said in some other videos, I originally came from Genshin. I know I'm just like just now getting back into Genshin, but my first Hoyoverse game was Genshin when it first came out. So that's why like a lot of the systems and stuff in Star Row were very like were very easy for me to pick up and just to understand. And I've I've always liked the character trials for whenever new characters would come out because it just gives you the chance to play test the character. They're not like super optimal, but they're not like usually they're not built too badly either. So it's like you get like a decent showing of the character, how they play, and that'll help you decide, you know, whether or not you want to pull on them. And what they're adding here with the Joint Forces stage is really nice because it's going to be a trial run for all of the standard banner characters. So, as it says here, you're going to be able to try to run Himiko, Welt, Branya, Japard, Clara, Yang Zheng, and Bailu. Which I think is really cool because, yeah, for one, these are characters that, you know, people will probably end up pulling throughout the game's lifespan, you know, when they lose 50-50s, if they pull on the standard banner and get a 5-star. But also, this is going to be super beneficial for a lot of players because of the free 5-star that the game gives you when you get up to uh, 300 warps. Now, I, while I don't recommend people use their um, their Stellar Jades for, the, for uh, this banner, I have here and there. That's why my number is higher up than it probably should be. But being able to playtest these characters is going to be really nice for me, even though I already kind of know what uh, direction I want to go in terms of who I'm picking up. Because right now on my account, I have Well, Branya, and Bailu. And really the only character here that I'm like, I don't really want them is uh, Himiko. So yeah, not really going to be too focused on Himiko. Like if I pull her at some point, you know, cool. But I'm not really going to focus on that. For me personally, I'm probably going to be picking up Clara. And then uh, if, I, if, I, if I decide against that, it'll probably be one of these two. Not sure which path I want to go on that. I might do Japar because that could be interesting to have a uh, actually build a preservation character because I don't have any of them built uh, for that path. But yeah, having the trial run is going to be super cool just to give people more playtime with these characters because without this Joint Forces trial run, the only characters I believe you would have played in the story are uh, you play you would play Himiko in the uh, I believe it was during the space station. You would play as uh, Yang Zheng in the companion quest. And I still haven't done Bailu's companion quest, so I'm not sure if they have a trial for her. I would assume they do because they had one for Locha in his companion quest as well. So, and the same thing for Silverwolf. So, you know, we'll have to, I'll have to see when I play that. But besides that, you don't really get a lot of playtime with these characters. And some of them are, you know, very interesting. And they're the kind of play characters that you're going to want to use and like see what they do before you make that decision of which one you want. I mean, obviously, you know, you can choose based on, you know, which one you think looks the coolest and stuff like that. Like if I hadn't, if I hadn't pulled him, I definitely would be considering well a lot, but since I already have him, I'm you know not going to try to pull him because I think I'd much rather get a new character than get an Adalon for a character. So I'm going to focus on probably Clara. Um, I have been using uh, a friend of mine's support Clara recently. She's really fun, but yeah, I, th I think Clara is gonna be great for me. Yeah, Yang Jing is probably, I think Yang Jing would probably be number two, to honestly, having like a good ice character. Then Japard three, and then Himiko four, in terms of like my priority for like what I'm thinking for that. But being able to test them out here, I'm gonna be able to get a better sense of what will, you know, what the characters play like. 
And what's cool about this is that you, even though it's only a one-time reward, we're going to get 20 uh, Stellar Jades per character trial that we do. And since there's seven characters, you, we're going to get a total of 140 Jades. So getting almost a free... Uh, yeah, getting almost a free pull is going to be really nice. But yeah, I just want to make a quick video covering the uh, Joint Forces character trial. Let me know what you all think of it in the comments down below. I think it's going to be really nice. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, all that fun stuff. And I will see you all next time.